Following Justice Rafael Ajua's disengagement, President of the Court of Appeal appointed a new chairman, Justice Obadigo, to head the tribunal and hear the petition of PDP candidate Olumu Iwadu on the outcome of the February 26 Accra North and South Federal constituency by election. After council appearances in petition number EPT, NAS Oman 2022 between PDP's Adu and Mayokwalade, APC and the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, lawyers pledged to support and cooperate with the tribunal for timely and expeditious determination of the petition. Chairman of the tribunal, Justice Obadigo, said the tribunal is aware of the task before it and promised to administer justice in accordance with their oath of office and the law. After the opening session, the tribunal went into a pre-hearing phase and had motions from counsel who presented their reliefs to the three-judge panel, counsel to Mayo Kwanladi, Ola Wale Abiola, and that of the APC, Bankole Alabi, in their reliefs, Pray the tribunal to dismiss Adu's petition for incompetence and being fundamentally defective while backing their submissions with affidavits and written addresses. The lawyers also urged the tribunal to strike out some paragraphs of the petition which border on criminal allegations against some unnamed APC chieftains, Fulums, agents, thugs, and party stalwarts on the ground of their non joinder in the petition. So we're basically for the court to dismiss the petition on certain grounds that the petition was incompetent. That was an argument, that's what we argued today on both sides. But counsel to the petitioner, Olumide Ogidon, opposed the prayers with affidavits and written address, arguing that the criminal allegations made against the unnamed persons have been settled by the Supreme Court judgment in the case of Obasanjo and Yusuf on the vagueness of his petition as argued by counsel to Alade and the PCA, the petitioner's lawyer, Ogidon backed this argument with Section 285 of the 1999 Constitution as amended and therefore urged the tribunal not to grant their prayers. And that is to the effect that every preliminary issues, every preliminary objections and interlocutory applications in respect of the competence of the tribunal, ruling on it must be reserved to the final judgment. And the tribunal agreed with us. On that point. After hearing the party's argument, the tribunal adjourned to Wednesday, June the second, to continue the pre-hearing session. The petitioner will summon fifteen witnesses to prove his case. The first respondent, Mayo Kwanladi, will call ten witnesses and present twenty-two public documents. The same number of witnesses to be called by the second respondent, and the third respondent, Einek, will call one witness, Richard Lesomi. Where's our news?